how to install our battery numbering system for the DJI Avada, that coming up right after this. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, my name's Ryan. This channel, we do a lot of tips, tricks, and reviews, mostly drone and photography related. If that's something you're interested in, consider subscribing. It's greatly appreciated. As I mentioned in the intro, today we're going to be talking about how to install probably one of our easiest decal sets yet. Uh, it is for the DJI Avada battery numbering. Take a quick look at what this looks like. I'm going to remove our GoPro mount for this so you can see the whole effect. So that is what that looks like. Uh, we do have this available in several different colors. This is the metallic silver color. Now if you've installed any of our decal sets before, most of them had a transfer tape on those uh, and you would transfer them in that method. You would essentially remove the transfer tape, place it on your drone, your battery, whatnot, and you would squeegee it on and then remove that transfer tape. In this case, this decal set does not require any transfer tape at all to install. Uh, there are a couple prerequisites though. We do still need to clean the drone batteries using isopropyl rubbing alcohol. I do not recommend using any kind of Windex or other cleaner. Those leave residues behind. Those residues keep the decal from adhering very well. So the reason why we need to clean it with isopropyl rubbing alcohol is to get any, any grease or any manufacturing oils off of the uh, surface of the batteries. Oil is what really keeps any kind of vinyl decal from sticking. Uh, you can get away with a lot of other dust and dirt and those sorts of things, but oils are what we really need to be concerned about. Uh, so I use uh, typically like an isopropyl rubbing alcohol prep pad uh, to clean surfaces before I put them on. You can use traditional bottles of ho household isopropyl rubbing alcohol. Now the surface that of the battery that we are going to be cleaning is this portion right here. It's the uh, triangular shape that does not have the Avada in. That's where that gets installed at. Uh, so we're just going to give that a good wipe down on all of our batteries. This battery decal set does include numbers one through four. Uh, we do have an uh, option as well if you want a second set to get decals four through eight uh, if you do have more than four batteries. So after that is wiped down, we do need to go ahead and let it dry. Once it's dry, we are safe to go ahead and install the decals. Uh, so we will go ahead and do decal number one first. Now, uh, the easiest way to do this, uh, you can try to pick at a corner, but you can damage the vinyl doing that. Uh, the easiest way is to essentially lay it down face down on the table and then roll that transfer tape back off. And you can kind of see right here that the corner of that decal is visible now. So after we do that, we carefully pull it off. Now. Just be careful when you're removing it, you do have the number to work around there. Um, so just be careful that you don't snag or tear anything. Um, and then all that we're gonna do now is just, there is a maybe a 16th of an inch offset. You'll see it when you start lining it up, um, that the decal goes inside so it doesn't go to the very edge. So don't line it up with the very edge. Um, it is barely set in. That doesn't look too bad. So now um, you can just use your finger and rub it straight down. And there is decal number one. Now since you uh, aren't using any kind of transfer tape or anything like that, we're not going to use a squeegee. You're used, if you're used to installing our other decal sets, you, we did have you using a squeegee. This time you can simply just use your finger to press it down. Uh, this matte uh, finish on these batteries that vinyl sticks very well to them so you shouldn't have any problems with anything peeling up. So now why do we number our batteries? The biggest reason is so we have an even wear through all of our sets of batteries. Uh, so essentially when I'm done flying say pack number three I'll pull it out you know put it on the charger back in my bag uh, and then I will go back to number one and then number two, and so we're evenly putting cycles on all of our batteries. We're not overusing one over another. Also, it's easier to tell that way, um, just at a glance, which ones perhaps you have depleted. All right, so that is it for this quick tutorial. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them down in the comments section below. 
If you have not picked up this set yet, a link will be down in the description, uh, as well as several of our other parts that we have for the Avada. We have more and more coming out every day, uh, including the uh, top GoPro mount, as well as some other decals and graphics, as well as apparel for the Avada. So that's it for this video. I hope you found it helpful. If you did, consider hitting that thumbs up button and subscribing. We appreciate it. Film safe, fly safe, and bye for now.